Now, is it possible to fit a new downstairs toilet in one day for less than a thousand pounds, including building the wall, the toilet, the materials, everything? On this one, we're starting from scratch, absolutely from scratch, and let me show you the job. So here it is, we're gonna be putting the new downstairs toilet underneath the stairs. There's a nice little hole here where we can get in and get a toilet. Now, there is a door there at the moment, but the customer says they can sort that out afterwards. So plenty of space in there. For the coal mains, if we go into the kitchen, the mains comes up underneath this cupboard. So a little bit of work to do there. Let's take a look outside what we've got. So this outside, there's the stack. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So if you get into that, I'm gonna say we're gonna be coming out somewhere there maybe, across there with the stack. Um, but yeah, it's just connected to one other toilet at the moment, so we've got to get a branch in there for the toilet. That ain't looking too bad, is it, now? So we've got the gear, we've got an idea. See how we get on. Right, so first thing I do is figure out where we're putting the toilet. So what you want to be able to do is walk in, comfortably turn around, then squat and do your business. So average toilet is about 700, so I'm going to mark 700 where my toilet's going to go. Make sure you're eating your head and we can actually get in here. So what I'm thinking is the edge of the toilet, come in the line with the door there. There's one mark. 700 is there. So, it's gonna come across there, but that's the door to get into the access. So, um, I don't really wanna block that off. I mean, if I put the wall there, the edge of the toilet's gonna come along somewhere here. Yeah? You've only got a little gap to turn around in. The most important thing is they can get in here and use the toilet. That can be enough to afford the need of downstairs toilet. So that's going to take priority. So yeah, I think we're going to have to put it near enough in line there, maybe a little bit forward. So you, you need to be able to get in. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. All right, main decision, that's where the wall's going to go. Customer's going to lose most of the storage in here, but they need to get in and use the toilet. As you can see, we took some of the skirting board out. Can you see that mark there? That's 120, that's to the bottom of the pan. So I need to come below that, so it's got a fall on it going down that way. So if I put my core drill right there, I'll get enough of a fall. So yeah, first thing we'll do is just core that hole out. Um, Cause obviously I'm not gonna get back in here once he's put a, a wall there. So let's get that cord out. <sighs> Halfway there, just got that one out, it took about 10 minutes. Now, how many of you have been watching my channel long enough to know how long I've been saying I'm gonna get a new cord drill? I keep saying it, don't I? But that's, it's still going, but it does seem as quick. My mind's got a Dewalt angled one. And to be fair, when I use that, I'm, uh, the, it's massive difference, massive. So yeah, I should get one really. I should just spend the money and get one, but I'll keep plodding on with this one. Anyway, it's halfway through, let's get the other half done. So I've just finished going, but I don't realize I was this low. Nearly took out the bloody earth cable. I can sort this though. I think I can get it. Yeah. I'm going to get it underneath. I'll just sort it out. Don't worry about that. Anyway, we've got a hole through now. Nice angle. We can come straight across to there. Bit of saw pipe. Got a free port T. The builder's finally showed up to build the wall. <laughs> Only half past 10. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to slot a, a T in there and bring the waste pipe across and sort that. That chunking. Um, if I was you, I'd do. It don't really matter because like, if, if you cut it wrong. Yeah, it'd be alright. Don't mind, cut whichever one you want. So, all we've done is took the bottom line there, isn't it enough in line with that white line? So, we just took it down a bit to get the fall in. I'm just going to cut it, try and get the seed. Alright, now that's all cut. I was going to try and get my chamfer tool in there, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I might be able to take that out. Sham for that, then sham for that. Yeah, yeah, I did a short on that not long ago. And I, mate, how to got off people? My God, he's a grinder. Seriously, that's it. Two minutes. Two minutes. This is the ingredients for me. Don't use a grinder. Use a sham for tool. No, but seriously, that was well worth the money. So I got it. So. Two second job, ain't it? It's two second job, mate. You might. So then we're all chamfered now. We've got to try and get the tea in there. But some people said, "Oh, you've damaged it." No, because you've covered with the tea. You've covered with the tea, but it's not damaged, it's just took the paint off. That's it. It's just took the paint off. So yeah, that's all chamfered, ready to go. So this is the problem, you got with stacks, you just cannot, you've got no movement, unless you start taking all the toilet out, and God knows what, we've got no swing left and right, so what I'm gonna have to do, 
Just cut it and put a slip coupler in. I'll just put that in the next for it. What do you think of that, Chris? Amazing. Oh, it's great. I love it, I do. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> so we've got a coupler here. It's just normal coupler, but you can see them tags inside there. One there, one there. All you do is knock them out and it becomes a slip coupler. So yeah, just buy a normal coupler, knock them tags out, slip coupler. So we've got the slip coupler on now. I'm just trying to get it into position. And we obviously we've got to turn that back to the wall because yeah, so I'm just gonna try and get that into position now, then pull it down. It's like a two-man job though. It's worse than one man job if you do it regular, but although this one pulls so regular, there you go. You're gonna have to knock it down, mate. You're gonna have to knock it down, yeah. Bit of wood. You gotta make sure you got it lined up. Mm -hmm. It is. Not bad, that. Oh, okay. you go, though. Oh, nice. Do you know where far you've gone? Yeah, he was there. Yeah, good lads. That's what, you know, leave mark. Should have marked it really, shouldn't we? Should have. Should have, could have, would have. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Is that enough, do you think? It's gone in about the width of my finger. Hmm? We'll knock that in a bit more and twist that and Probably we'll be done. That's all I've done, just put a bit of pipe through there, pushed it on, there we go. The only thing is, I it's always such bloody core, have I? I need a bigger core. Um, I'm going to have to get my chisel and chisel around here. Or down here, I don't know. I'm going to have to sort something because, yeah. It's too far the wall at the moment. But the main thing is we've got the arbor in, we've got the tea in. I've got the saw pipe into here now. That's the line that I've put for the wall. So obviously then when the it goes in, we can come straight across here. I'm going to leave Chris in here now. He's going to build the wall up. And I'm going to go into here and connect onto this cold mains and then bring it through here. I'm hoping to do one piece of flexi pipe, speed fit. I oh, know, don't judge me. Nothing wrong with speed fit if you fit it correctly. So yeah, just one piece of speed fit all the way across there. I can go all the way around the back as well, get it at Chris's wage while Bill's wall gets a clad. Um, then we can have a look at fitting the toilet. Beautiful. Well, that, are you? I love that. So, what Chris has done is found out where the centre of the wall is going to be, cut the pipe down, bang the old one, and then he can build the wall wherever he wants then. So that's Chantel, that's Chantel saves so much time now. Now people say they use a grinder, but I'm still going to stick with that Chantel. He's really good. And the fittings just get plenty of lube on there. I normally got the spray, but I've got the uh, the gel, which is just as good, to be fair. It is just as good. And because we've tipped it outside, when Chris goes to push this on now, it should be nice and easy. He says, always make sure you put some lube on, dog and dry. There you go. Beautiful. First thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut a big hole out of here to see how I can get us the mains and hopefully they must shut off. Okay, oh, actually that's nice and loose and all that. Um, yeah, drag it, get a hole through there. And hopefully get in the back of the cupboard. Now when I first come here, that little button stop tap, yeah? There's a stop tap. That's for an outside tap. So I've got to cut some of the unit out. And what I'll have to do is cut into here, put the tea across, then get it through the back of the cupboard. That stop taps in the way. And I think it should be all right like that. If I leave that open, actually if I close that off, which is tight as anything, open the outside tap, cut into that and see if we can get uh, something onto there. The problem I've got now is I haven't got no room. Get this tea in here. I've just tried to undo this nut here. I'm taking some more out and it just won't move up and down. It will not move, so. I'm thinking is if I can cut that there, I should be able to sneak a couple in there and that can pull out and put it down. Yeah. I'll have to do like that. I'll have to put a couple in there. As you can see, I've had to change tactics. I realised but the two I was gonna put it the tap uh, the isolation point for the outside tap would have killed the toilet. That would have been a right callback, so I'll move the isolation point lower down and that'll turn on and off before I've already checked it against the stop tap. Put my tea in and just redone that bit of pipe there. I've got to cut some more cupboard out now though um, to get the speed fit through there. But I can just put a hole in the cupboard now and see about connecting 
up to there. So you say far Chris has got, he's got uh, the, the boarding to there, hole for the waist. If you come around here, this little cubby hole there. You can see the frame that it's built on there. What I'm thinking is when we put the system in, um, I should, I'm pretty sure it should come on that there, um, on that beam there. But if not, put some more wood behind it, but yeah, it's just gonna clad that now. So that's the end trim there. Yeah, just gonna clad all that now while I get this water main in somewhere. Through here. Right, before I tidy up, I'm just gonna show you the progress we made. So I've got a bit of speed fit down in here now. So I need an alba to come up to there. Connect onto the copper there. I managed to feed it through all the back of the units there. We have to do on this one because two sections out, one there, and one there, and just help feed it down the back of there and through that at the back. And we went into here to work through to there. That was a mistake, mistakes happen, but we went into the hair now. So, what I'm thinking is I can transition to copper mode, but it's gonna look crappy either way. It really is. I ain't gonna be able to do a lot. That was the cheapest and you got there. That was the cheapest and quickest way to get the cold water piping. I say, I, I could have spent another half a day doing it all in copper, but yeah, speed heat was the way to go on this one. Um, I'm thinking now, I'll clip that back to the wall. That's all I've got on that. I'll deal with that one on here too. Um, but yeah, I just need to get an L back and connect that up over there now. Right, so we just extend that pipe down. All we've got to now is L back that. Onto there, and that is a cold maze from there all the way into the toilet. Well, I've got an idea for that piece of pipe, and then I'll show you in a minute once I've got this connected up. There we go, that's all connected up now. So, I'm just going to fit the toilet now. Um, because the cold water pipe's need done, get onto the toilet. It's just a toilet to go back, one of the cheap ones, but it has got metal bolts, which is good. Fill valve's got the air gap, again, good. Plastic shank, not so good. Just a Standard size and for the money, these are great value. Um, the only thing that's rubbish on them is them toilet seats. Don't fit them, they're cheap. You can get uh, a good toilet seat if that's well one. I think that cost a tenner and it's a lot better quality than that one, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I'm gonna fit a uh, different toilet seat to what comes with me. So, we're just gonna put these bolts through now. Some people use silicon. Look at the size of that rubber, that ain't leaking, so I don't use silicon. A lot of people know that I do not use silicon. You use plumbers, mate, if you want. But yeah, I'll just put them straight through. So let me just go straight through there. Right, so water pipe is all into there. You see there's no joint like I said earlier. I've moved it into the back of there. So I'll put the couple in there. So there's two pieces of speed fit there. We've got the toilet in place. You just see me putting the bolts together to put the toilet in. I've got this on and what we've done is measured from that pan connector there to our elbow there so we get a solid bit of piping get that connected once we're happy with that's connected put the screws in and it's coming along now uh the water pipe uh i've got that on a flexi that's ready to go in the wall there a couple of clips let's get in there well it's all it's only place now wooden floors so we just screw that straight down happy days so i've got me an isolation valve put that into there i'm gonna put two clips on there and i've got my flex seat there for the water, uh, screw it to the back there. And that's in there, don't it? it stinks hard, man. All the smells coming from the sewer, so yeah, let's get this uh, these clips in connected up. Give it a try. So, water's back on, it's not screwed back to the wall yet, it's not screwed to the floor. I just wanted to give it a try. <laughs> working. So the water's all into there now, and Chris has just finished silicone it all up, all sealed up here. The cladding is used really nice because you can barely tell there's a joint in that. Looks really nice in the toilet. Well, it does what it needs to. So we use speed fit there, copper there, isolation point, everything you need. And we've got the door closing. Open that door, Chris. Look at that. So it's actually made the door bigger. There's two extra ones on here, so you can still use that as storage in there. Um, there's a bit of two before underneath there just to stop pressure um, anyone putting anything on there breaking it. And I'll just quickly show you outside. Yeah, see, we just washed it all down, put some cement in there. That's all done now. The earth wire's going underneath. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, clip in there, all connected there. Downstairs toilet, all done. So that's took us two lads one day. Um, Chris has charged me 300 pounds for his work. Uh, my materials come to about 250 I think off the top of my head. 
Then you've got the business rates with the bat, about 450. Take a pound off, why not? So yeah, about £1,000 £1, for a new downstairs toilet, which I don't think is unreasonable, to be fair. Not with everything we use now. The toilet is just a toilet to go. Um, it's nothing fancy. Now, a lot of people are probably going to say could work a seal system and all that. Look, customer just needed a downstairs toilet. That's what we've turned up and that's what we've done. So there you go. Can you fit a downstairs toilet from the of food? Absolutely. Well, thank you all again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to drop me a subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.